Okay, so we've got we've got a lot to talk about. We've got a lot to talk about because it is a weird, weird day. And I and I noticed we've you know we've got some people we got people flooding in because you're not gonna get this type of coverage from Destiny. Okay, you're not gonna get this type of coverage from Vouch. Okay, let's start. So today we had a lot of crazy news. And there's a lot of rumblings about a civil war in Russia with Wagner going off the rails for goes in leading statements about declaring war on the Russian MOD. Now, the first way I found about this was from War Translated. War Translated is a account that translates a bunch of stuff from Telegram, Russian accounts, Wagner accounts, and translates it into English so you can see the type of content that is made for a domestic Russian audience. You can then show it to a Western audience. So when you see a lot of the really racist or fascist or bloodthirsty type of propaganda that is regularly consumed and distributed within Russia, that's what War Translated tries to bring to the English-speaking and international audience, and I think it's great work. And he posted, Rogozin declares war on Russian Ministry of Defense. I saw this tweet. I saw it was war translated. And I was like, you know, war translated, reputable guy, reputable people. There's probably something to this, but I ignored it. And the reason I ignored it is I was just like, yeah, right. Because Fergozin has made a lot of crazy statements about the Russian MOD. And for those of you who don't know, Fergozin is the head of the Wagner Group. He's like the public-facing head of the Wagner Group. There's like internal military people and management and stuff. But he's the, you know, he's like the face of Wagner. And he's made a lot of crazy statements about, about uh, Sergei Shoigu, the Russian Ministry of Defense, constantly lambasting him, saying that the reason why we're failing is because of the Russian MOD and our commanders and our leaders who are sending our young men off to die. He'll never say it about Putin who, of course, was the person who okayed this war, and without him, this war would not be happening. But he'll say it about everybody in the Russian MOD. Um, why he won't criticize Putin is probably because he was Putin's chef, and the way he became leader of Wagner was through relationships with Putin. And his power base and his presence in the Russian political scene is largely subsidized, again, by Vladimir Putin. Not to mention, it's a big taboo, and that's a red line no one's supposed to cross, and that's the type of thing that can get you 10 to 15 in the Russian Slammer. Or, I guess, maybe a year in Ukraine if you end up joining Wagner after going to the Slammer. Anyway, Rogozin has been going after the Russian MOD for a while, so eventually I had to go dig a little deeper into the story, saying, okay, you know, he's fought with the Russian MOD before, he's yelled at them, he's complained about them. I know that the Russian MOD and Wagner have been having some scuffles over contract negotiation, specifically a contract with the MOD that the MOD is pushing on all the private military companies that allows these private military companies to be controlled more directly by the Russian Ministry of Defense, which would take power away from Wagner and give it to Sergei Shoigu, give it to the people in the Russian military establishment. And this was something that Shoigu was fighting in the public sphere, constantly railing against, saying, why should we give more power to the people who led us to this disaster? We saw him release statements even saying that the Ukrainians could take back Crimea. The Russians are failing in Zaporozhye. This is the fault of the Russian Ministry of Defense. But now it has come to a head with Prigozhin releasing a statement after this video was posted on, on Wagner, Telegram, and social media channels. Now, when this video is purported, according to the Wagner social media channels, to show is a Wagner private military company position full of soldiers getting attacked with missiles. This is the aftermath where they're running around all hurriedly and kind of you know, scurrying around after supposedly the Russian military bombed them. As in the Russian military sent a missile from the rear and bomb them. That's pretty big. Was it deliberate? Was it not deliberate? In an accident? I would find it pretty hard to imagine this is an accident, especially with the political conditions that are going on right now and the lack of communication between these different factions within the Russian military out in the field, which a lot of Russian activists, pro-war activists, and pro-Russian invasion volunteers have complained about is contributing to a lack of communication in the field that's really hurting them. I was like, oh, well, I, I mean, it isn't completely impossible, but the problem with this video is, in my opinion at least, is it doesn't really show anything. Like, just look at this video. 
Just watch it with me and see. Tell me, like, what actually do you see here? Anyway, we can I don't think we can watch the full video one second. Let me just look at it for a second off screen. Uh because I believe there was a moment in here where it shows something that might be TOS. I don't actually, yeah, there's like a charred body at the end of it. So I can't show the whole video, but what is in the rest of the video is there's like some leaves on fire and what could be a crater, um, and a, and a hand that's been decapitated. And so what I'm saying isn't necessarily that nobody died in the strike and that it's a false flag. I'm not saying that what I'm saying is there's not a lot here that directly implicates the Russian military in doing this strike. I'm not saying that it's impossible that they did it. I'm not even saying that it's impossible that this was a false flag. All I'm saying is as of right now, all we have is a video of an impact site, a possible impact site, Burns some like a, fire a moral, and chart body. Corrupt, Could it be man. from the Russian military? Yes. Could it be something else? Yes, we don't know. This is something that requires some digging. But the accounts in question that posted this and promoted this, like this foot, this video, are absolutely sure that it came from the Russian Ministry of Defense. And more importantly, whether just for show or otherwise, uh, Shoig, not Shoigu, Prigozhin believes that this is for the Russian Ministry of Defense. Gimpy, thank you so much for the primer. Uh, here is the statement that he released. And let me just say, this is a pretty brutal statement. The PMC Wagner Commanders Council made a decision. The evil brought by the military leadership of the country must be stopped. They neglect the lives of soldiers. They forgot the word justice, and we will bring it back. Those who destroyed today our guys, who destroyed tens, tens of thousands of lives of Russian soldiers, will be punished. I'm asking. No one resist. Everyone who will try to resist, we will consider them a danger and destroy them immediately. Just say that again. Destroy them immediately. No one resist. Including any checkpoints on our way and any aviation that we see above our heads. That includes, so they're talking about the Russian Air Force, military checkpoints, police checkpoints, etc. I'm asking everyone to remain calm. Do not succumb to provocations and remain occurred in their houses. Flemmy gifted three tier one subscriptions. Eyewitness saw F-16 with Russian MOD flags on the wings over the Wagner camp. <laughs> true, true, man. You know, Biden should do the thing Trump said he was going to do. Remember when Trump said he was going to paint like a, like a Chinese flag on an F-22 and use it to bomb Russia and make to make China and Russia fight? Let's let's get Biden to paint a like Wagner symbol on an F-16 and then bomb the Russian military to, to you know increase the scuffling. Let's do that. Let's let's take uh, some advice from Trump. Let's do it, boys. Let's do it. Thank you for the subs. I appreciate it. I'm asking everyone to remain calm. Do not succumb to provocations and remain in your houses. Ideally, those along our way do not go outside. After we finished what we started, we will return to the front line to protect our motherland. Presidential authority, government, Ministry of Internal Affairs, Rosgarv Rosgarvia, and other departments will continue operating as before. So he seems to be saying from this statement that this is not an attack on Putin. This is not an attack on the general government. This is not an attack on, you know, the internal intel people, GRU guys, any of that. Uh, this is an attack solely on people like Shoigu, 
people uh, in the Russian Ministry of Defense. We will deal with those who destroy Russian soldiers, and we will return to the front line. Justice in the army will be restored, and after this, justice for the whole of Russia. Uh, there's also audio of this. Um, if you wanted to listen to that, we're, I don't think it's that important. We just read the whole message anyway. But it's not fake. It's from his account. Audio of him. Soviet commander of Wagner принял решение. He's got his usual progrosin charm, that beautiful voice of, of, of a babe, of a bob, of, of a baby little lamb coming out to soothe us. So, yeah, it's, it's not fake. I, at first, I thought it might have been fake, but after listening to the audio, it doesn't sound fake. Um, Rogozin went on to make more statements afterwards, and one that, I, you know, a lot of them just as inflammatory as the last of him, like, directly calling out this person, that person, saying, you know, justice will be done. But then he also released this statement, saying, this is no military coup, this is a march for justice. Our actions do not interfere with the army in any way. Now, whether this is a walk back, or whether this is him, like, trying to signal that he has no interest in overthrowing Putin, like, doubling down that idea, or him specifically trying to say, look, we're not going to fight them on the front line. We're not going to attack them where the Ukrainian army could take advantage. We're only going to do this back in the capital. Who knows exactly some of these messages, while they're extremely um, incendiary, they do leave some things to be determined, leave some things up to interpretation, corrupt, as it were. Man. Mustard, thank you so much for tier one and being subbed for seven months on a five, on a six month streak. I appreciate it. So this statement I did want to highlight because this feels a little bit like him giving himself some some wiggle room. Igor Gherkin was one of the first people to respond to this. If you don't know who Igor Gherkin is, Igor Gherkin is a Russian nationalist blogger. He used to be the Minister of Defense for the Donetsk People's Republic, which is the Russian proxy in the Donbass. He was involved in shooting down civilian airliners in the Donbass. He's a war criminal. He has admitted that he was holding uh, Crimean politicians at gunpoint to make them accept secession from Ukraine uh, in the uh, Crimean parliament. Uh, he has been very heavily involved in ultra-nationalism, this promotion of this idea of Nova Russia, Greater Russia. Russia has the ability and should conquer large swaths of Ukraine and annex it in an imperial project. So a very hardcore Russian nationalist who is directly involved in starting this whole war in the first place. And he is very proud of that, by the way. He will often brag about it because he's a monster. Anyway, Gherkin responded to this by calling it, like, in his mind, calling it what it is. A coup is underway. If this isn't a fake, which it can be, the military coup has started. But if it isn't a fake, then the situation with the face-off between the MOD and Wagner is out of control and needs immediate involvement by the president, if we still have him at all. Oof. That's a, that's a dig at Putin that I would personally be scary to make. Scared to make. Maybe Igor Gherkin feels safe because there's a lot of rumors about his deep ties to the Russian intel community. That wasn't the only thing you said, though. He also went on to say this. I hope that no one has forgotten about the one who, for many months, persistently warned about the upcoming inevitable betrayal of the Dark Clown. So this is him complimenting himself for what he says here is the Dark Clown. That's his word for, for Prigozhin. He's calling him the dark clown, and I mean, Prigozhin is a clown from the way he behaves in, in public, but he's basically saying, ha ha, I told you so, lamau, lamau, lamau. Uh, if you look at Wagner channels right now, whether it be like directly military-affiliated channels with Wagner, or it's basically like fan groups, they have been going crazy, they're beating their chest, it all sounds like they're ready to go to war. Um, even though they're already, you know, at war, I guess a second war. Another Wagner channel remembers Russian military leadership and all their sins and promises justice. Here's what they had to say. The March of Justice, which I guess is what they're calling it now. That was what Prigozhin called it. And now all the counts are calling it that. The March of Justice of PMC Wagner is a karmic punishment of Gerasimov and Shoigu. Gerasimov is a high-ranking Russian general. Shoigu, again, head of the Russian Ministry of Defense. 
If you have been ruling the army for years, trying for years to destroy the most combat-ready unit, um, during Kasham shell shortage, during Bakhmut meat grinder, and today's strike on the rear camps, this is interesting. This is interesting. It says during Kasham. Now, for those of you who don't know, Wagner actually had a battle with the American military and the Syrian Democratic Forces in Syria where they tried to take an SDF-aligned oil field and the and American military just slaughtered them. I mean, like, some estimates say, like, 300 casualties. Some of them are moderate and says 60 to 70. Uh, and the only casualty on the other side was, like, I think one wounded with the Syrian Democratic Forces. You should go look up, look it up on yourself. Uh, but a lot of Wag, uh, Wagner guys um, are very upset about that, and some people think it was a conspiracy against them specifically. Um, I have yet to see any evidence of that. Uh, it is really weird though when you look at the Battle of Kasham because it sits in a weird place in the Russian psyche where the people who survived it, which were just people who kind of like hid the whole time, if I'm being legit with you, as in like. They avoid the American helicopters and artillery and everything else. They got, like, medals for it. They got medals for losing. Anyway, continuing. Uh, if you reward uh, Murderadovs, the Volodyr catastrophe. So this is talking about Voldar. When the Russians attacked Voldar, they got slaughtered. Um, they, like, ran over mines. They got taken out by pre-calculated Ukrainian artillery. And they just kept going. And they took a lot of casualties to Russian armor and, and Russian personnel. And expelled really honest generals. If you threw ordinary soldiers into stupid meat assaults, then one must be prepared for the fact that justice can prevail. Are Shoigu and Garisimov ready? So this all this all sounds like, look, we're coming for justice. Uh, they have led our military astray. They've they've abused us. They've bullied us, and now. We're going to take the Russian military establishment and we're going to make them pay for throwing us into the meat grinder. That's the tenor, tenor of the conversation. Um, there's other like Wagner channels. This basically says like it has begun or it is ready. Um, uh, there's other channels like this that are just posting the, you know, the this is fine meme in the West where there's a dog sitting in a like a like a kitchen and it's on fire. They posted their own version of it. You get the idea. It's like somebody saying everything is under control, yada, 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 yada. It's, it's the same exact, it's the same premise, same meme. We're all very similar at the end of the day. Uh, these are the uh, armored vehicles that have been deployed on Rostov uh, near Donetsk and Luhansk, major logistical hub, launching point for the war. Uh, there's armored vehicles out on the street. The Burns Russian military seems immoral, to be taking this. Morally corrupt, bankrupt. The man. Russian military seems to be taking this threat, even if it's so far. And we're going to talk about this in a second. Just words. They seem to be taking this threat pretty seriously. I O failure. Thank you for the tier one being up for nine months. Is my money on Wagner or the MOD? My money's on the MOD. The MOD seem to be gaining more leverage, and we're going to talk about that in a second. Uh, it's official, uh, and this is this is where it gets interesting. Because on one level, we're seeing we're finally seeing a response from Putin. But at first, it seemed like Putin and his government were completely unprepared in how to respond to what's going on, which does make me think that this isn't something that was planned by Putin as some like false little like like all of it's like some false flag like to distract or something. Because I've seen some people saying, "Oh, this is just part of like Putin's like 50, <laughs> 60 D chess." But this was the response that we got from Putin. This is one of the first responses. Putin has been informed about the situation around Pergozin, and all the necessary measures are being taken. This is from his press secretary, Peskov. But that wasn't the only statement they released. They also released a pre-recorded message of Putin congratulating school students on Youth Day, saying, Believe in yourself. Dream bravely. Achieve your goals and you will definitely be successful. I think it was just set to release, and so they released it. They didn't know what to do, on, given the circumstances. It's, it's a little, it's kind of bizarre. Kind of bizarre, really. But finally, we're seeing some response from the Russian government, some concrete response, and them threatening uh, repercussions. Uh, this is Pax, uh, posted by Max Sidon, uh, uh, but it's, uh, you can go check it out on Telegram. 
the FSB, this is from Russia's prosecutors, the FSB lawfully and justifiably, justifiably launched a criminal case against uh, Prigozhin, Yegeny Prigozhin, for organizing and armed uprising. A criminal case against Prigozhin for organizing an armed uprising. So the Russian government seems to be taking this pretty seriously, uh, calling it an armed uprising. Very stable country, has everything under control. His actions will receive appropriate legal assessment. The sentence for this crime is 12 to 20 years in prison. Okay, so they seem to be flashing their cards. Like, look, buddy, we'll arrest you. We see you. We will uh, punish you if you step too far out of line. Whether or not they're going to make good on this promise, whether or not they're close to making good on this promise, or they're communicating with Prigozhin because they don't want to cause any chaos in Wagner, any chaos in the Russian military, even though Prigozhin seems to be causing quite a bit of the chaos, even though a lot of the things he says is just true. And I'm not saying like, oh, the Russian nationalist thinks he says, but when he criticizes the Russian Ministry of Defense, when he talks about problems when it comes to, uh, for example, them throwing people into the meat grinder or the human wave meat assaults or, or you know, not correct uh, allocatement of shells, bad logistics, mismanaged war. Like a lot of these criticisms at least have a kernel of truth, a kernel of truth at the very least. And maybe that's what makes his criticism sting so particularly for the Russian Ministry of Defense. Uh, but they are not the only one that has released statements in reaction to this. We're now seeing multiple Russian generals come out and release their own statements. For example, General Armageddon Sorovikin, he was the person who did a lot of butchering in Syria. He also organized the withdrawal from Kherson when the Russians had to withdraw across the Dnipro River because they were being uh, clamped down on uh, during the Ukrainian counteroffensive to retake the city of Kherson. He organized the withdrawal, which I do, I do have to say, while a lot of Russian nationalists criticize him for quote-unquote abandoning the city, the city that doesn't even want them in the first place, uh, others will point out the fact that he, you know, he managed the withdrawal not too poorly, all things considered, given the circumstances. Now, this video is kind of weird, and I'm going to talk about it in a moment, but let's just read what he says. I have just returned by the order of the Ministry of Defense from the Zero Line where our forces, our commanders, our soldiers, and volunteers carry out the objective, fighting the superior enemy forces to death, take casualties, but stand on their positions. I appeal to the leadership, commanders, and fighters of PMC Wagner. Together with you, we walked a difficult path. Together with you, we fought. We took risks. We took losses, but overcame together. We are of the same blood. We are warriors. I call on you to stop. The enemy is waiting for our internal political situation to aggravate. We shouldn't play into the enemy's hands in this difficult time for the country. It needs to be done before it is too late. To obey the will and order of the people elected president of the Russian Federation. Now, there's a, there's a few more things to comment on, but just right away, him directly referencing Putin like this seems in my mind to be kind of a low-key message of look. Putin doesn't like this. This is out of line with what he wants. At the end of the day, he's the guy that's in charge. Stop the columns and return them to their permanent positions in places of concentration. This sentence right here is crazy. Because remember what I said earlier about the thing that was unconfirmed? This thing. Russian channels Don't Stop War reports that a 50-mile-long Wagner column has crossed the border checkpoint into Russia, headed for Rostov. And now he's referencing columns. And this account here says right here, it's not visually confirmed. We don't have any pictures. Is, he, is this the column that he's referring to? Again, this is still just rumor. This is just rumors from Telegram so far. 50-mile-long, that's a pretty long convoy. I'm... I would be surprised if Wagner was able to organize a convoy that big under the radar, under the nose of the Russian military, the Ministry of Defense, without them knowing. But still, there's no pictures and no videos, but he's also referencing a column. I'm not saying, oh my God, look, that's proof. I'm just saying they're both referencing columns. I'm just pointing out the fact. 
to solve all the problems with civil means only under the letter leadership of the Supreme Commander of the Russian Armed Forces. He is being slowly joined by other high-ranking commanders of the Russian Army. Similar video. So he's not the only person to release a video like this. Now, if you look at the video also... Number one, now I've been in Ukraine for a bit, so maybe I'm just reading too much into it. But my other friend said this as well, and he's lived in Ukraine for his whole life. He seems a little intoxicated. I don't know if that's just me, but a, a tiny bit. Наши солдаты, наши бойцы, добровольцы выполняют задачу, бьются с противником нас. Or maybe I'm crazy. But the main thing I want to... It could be sleep deprivation, maybe. Who knows what it is. Either way, he's holding a gun. Do you see that? He's holding a gun in his... You see the gun, right? It's like right under the desk. And he's, and he's making a point to hold that gun. On camera. He didn't have to hold it. It looks uncomfortable, in fact, for him to be holding that gun. Why is he holding the gun? Is it a sim is it a, is it a message? To me, it sounds like a message. It's a... It, anyway, man, it's weird. And he's not the only person who's, who's released a statement like this. Um, other than that, um, everything else is, is still kind of developing. What exactly is going on? I see people in chat saying, Dylan, people are taking advantage of the situation. Let's say, let me look at what you guys are posting. Formations of Z Kamaz 4350s in Borganka. Bur One second, I'm terrible with pronouncing any of this. Moving south uh, in Moscow. Yeah, there's movement. We see armored cars moving. We're seeing like vehicles moving, but we still have yet to see the Wagner co uh, column that's rumored. When it comes to Wagner, so far, it's just pictures of, you know, just like these things, which is not Wagner, and Burns rumors. is an immoral, morally corrupt, And so since it's just rumors, man. as of right now, it's still just all talk and no action. And so in my mind, if I'm being 100% with you guys, even though the profitable thing on YouTube and the algorithm is to tell you guys, civil war is coming, civil war is coming. I think most likely it's gonna, we're gonna see like everybody tense up and then they're gonna release. Rogozin's gonna back down like, oh, he's just gonna do a political march and yada, yada, yada. Maybe he goes with some political march and it's not a coup or it's not like military related. That's the most likely scenario. That, that is the most likely scenario. It could just be, you know, a call privately and maybe Putin says, look, I need you to back down or you're going to lose my favor. It could be Putin gets the message from all this kind of public statements from the FSB and, you know, these other generals. Maybe something is offered to Bregosin behind closed doors to, like, like soothe him. Maybe uh, there's a waiver given for his MOD contract. I really doubt that happens. I think it would make Putin look incredibly weak and make his government look incredibly weak if in response to basically a threat of a military coup, he said, okay, okay, we'll waiver the MOD contract. It would be a giant victory for Bergozin, and it would probably send the wrong message, just threaten to start overthrowing government, overthrowing parts of the government, not, not Putin, but overthrowing parts of the government, and you'll get concessions. Not the best thing to encourage if you want your country to be stable during a war. So those are all possibilities, and it is, I mean, technically possible, and this would be the craziest scenario, that maybe there is a column. Maybe they do march on these areas. Possibly there's scuffles. Maybe there's no scuffles, and they just kind of wander around and they leave. We're kind of in a, a little bit of uncharted territory. We're, we're, we're in uncharted territory because this is the furthest Bergozin has ever gotten in his rhetoric. It seems to be coming with commitment to do things. Right, like a public commitment, we will do this. And he has done commitments like that before when it came to the Battle of Bakhmut and he didn't follow through on. So he could just not follow through on any of this. And that's what I still believe is the most likely outcome. But we're still in uncharted territory. And even if I think the most likely outcome is, you know, they, they make a big a kerfluffle 
and then this all kind of reside resides and like you know calms down and the worst thing that comes out of it for the russians is they got a lot of egg on their face and you know it doesn't look as stable as it did before there there is a possibility this becomes more than that and we're still waiting for more developments who knows what will happen in the next i mean honestly for for the rest of the stream a lot of crazy stuff could happen a lot of crazy stuff at the very least, Putin doesn't have his anonymous Merc to do his dirty work anymore. We don't know that. We do not know that. We, re we really do not know that. It could be that there's like uh, some concessions from Putin towards them. It could be that Putin just makes them back down and Prigozhin does back down. And he doesn't want to cause chaos though, but decapitating the organization. So he tries to return to some type of status quo. Who We don't know that, that Wagner's out. We do not know that. This is a gigantic gamble. This is a gigantic gamble on Prigozhin's part, part. But if Putin's response was just to decapitate the situation, while I can understand that, the type of, like, you know, this type of situation could deserve a strong response, that could cause chaos. The Wagner guys are pretty loyal, man. They're pretty loyal, and they don't like the Russian Ministry of Defense. The factions in the Russian military fucking despise each other. And that could cause chaos. Prigozhin will meet the same fate as Earth's Rome? Ah, eh, I really don't know that. I, 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 nothing's for sure at this point. Execute order 66. <laughs> for those of you who don't get this meme, on the left, there's Prigozhin. And on the right there, uh, taking the spot of Emperor Palpatine, is Budanov, who is the Ukrainian intelligence chief. Uh, who's a very mysterious guy. Very mysterious pretty Mimi guy too. Mutiny usually ends with hanging, not arrest, just saying. Yeah, but you also need to understand that Wagner is like 20 to 25,000 people. Are they going to hang 20 to 25,000 people? Probably not. So I guess they would just try to hang the leadership. They can't, it wouldn't, it's not easy to throw away 25,000 people. Many of them extremely experienced fighters that you need and that were crucial in taking the city of Bakhmut. So are they going to decapitate the leadership? Okay, maybe they could go with that. But are they sure that the rank and file of Wagner is going to accept that? They're going to accept their leader being decapitated for a cause that many of them believe in. Because much of the people that are in Wagner are in Wagner. Not only because they gave them a second chance at life from the you know Soviet prison system. But also because they think the Russian MOD fucking sucks. How many of those 25,000 prisoners? Well, no, no, no. When I say 25,000, I don't mean like 25,000 prisoners. I mean like 25,000 people. There's not just prisoners in Wagner. And I, I, I do want to kind of dispel this myth. A lot of people think all of Wagner is just like prisoners who are just used as cannon fodder. That's not true. Now, those people exist, uh, even though prisoner recruitment has been stopped by the Russian Ministry of Defense, which is part of this infighting, by the way. Uh, there are real experienced fighters within Wagner. They send in the bullshit people who don't know what they're doing, right? Or, or have a very vague idea of what they're doing. Uh, they send them in to, dra to draw the fire. And then they send in the more elite units, the more elite people who have experience in Syria and other locations. Funny comment translation. Finally, at least someone uh, from the Russian opposition is not just talking, but acting. I didn't expect Prigozhin to be so outraged by the bill against transgender people, but okay. <laughs> That is good. That is good. I like that. Pergozin, the trans ally, man. The trans ally Pergozin. I'm going to download this meme and post it. Burns is an immoral. Alan with the primer in the five months. Bankrupt man. Keep up the good work, Dylan. I just got here. Is the Civil War shit real? Um, Can somebody give them a TLDR? My TLDR is it could be real. Most a likely curve. isn't. Is Most curve. likely just words. But Ema the fact Silly that it could be real is scary. $5. Zero. Hey, thank you so much for the $5. I appreciate it. Okay, let's get back to this. Incoming cruise missiles to Ukraine. Be careful. Nationwide alerts. Uh, yeah. Probably. I mean, that's not that surprising. New audio from Prigozhin. Oh, boy. Saying, Wagner crossed state borders in all areas. This is, the, this is the message I wanted to read. And is now entering Rostov, promising to destroy anything standing in their way. The current situation. Today, we were dealt a missile strike. After this strike, helicopters, then their work, then artillery. The orders were coming from the head of the general staff to destroy PMC Wagner. 
after a meeting with the Minister of Defense Shoigu, where they made this decision to destroy the rebellious units who are ready to defend the motherland, but not their asses. Okay. So, as we talked about earlier at the start of the stream, there was a sh missile strike on a Wagner position that Wagner alleges, and they have video of the aftermath of the strike, not of the strike happening, right? So it's not like concrete proof or anything, but they allege that it was done by the Russian military onto their position. And now the allegation evolves. Not only was it done by the Russian military onto Wagner's position, so it's the Russian military fighting Wagner, but it was specifically oid or oided, oh God, I got a lisp, ordered by the Minister of Defense, Sergei Shoigu. And so this arch of justice, I guess they're calling it, this crusade against the MOD has a better narrative now, where Shoigu ordered the deaths of our Wagner guys after mismanaging the war left, right, and center and sending us in as the meat shields. This is the narrative that's forming, that after all of that, they're still trying to, to, trying to squash us for our brave patriotism. There's, there's the narrative. The orders were coming from the head of general staff to destroy PMC Wagner. After a meeting with the Minister of Defense Shoigu, where they made this decision to destroy the rebellious units who are ready to defend the motherland, but not their asses. As of now, we've crossed the state borders in all areas. Border guards came towards us and hugged our fighters. Hugged our fighters. So this is Rogozin saying that they've crossed the border, that their columns, the columns that were first rumors, and the columns that then Surovikin, General Armageddon of the Russian military, he referenced, this is Sergei now going forward and saying it's real, and it's crossing the border into Russia, and that the people on the border saw Wagner, saw these guys crossing the border and was like, oh, brave patriots, and he went and hugged them. He's st starting to sound a little bit like Donald Trump. You know how Donald Trump talks? Like, I went into a Wendy's, and everybody immediately bowed. They were like, thank you, Trump, for running against the deep state. It's starting to sound a little bit like that, right? And again, a lot of claims, a lot of words from Wagner, a lot of words from Prigozhin, a lot of words from the PMC Telegram channels, right? No pictures. Of their fighters no videos of their fighters none of that we, i i don't see it i i still have yet to see any videos or pictures of their fighters in these columns heading towards rostov we're now we're entering rostov units of if they're entering rostov this was this was posted like 30 40 minutes ago so this uh, this statement is less than an hour old but it's been more than 30 minutes probably 50 minutes something along those along that line if they're entering rostov we should have plentiful videos, even if people are going into their house, like houses, due to all the chaos, either because of the emergency statements put out by the Russian government or because uh, Yegeny Prigozhin and asked people to go inside, they should still be able to record outside the window. There's no way that all the people in the city have just decided to simultaneously turn their phones off when the, when the Wagner guys are walking by, but also turn their phones on when the MOD guys are walking by and film that. So we're still waiting for pictures. We're still waiting for videos. And now we're entering Rostov. Units of the Ministry of Defense, in fact, the conscripts were thrown to block our path, moved away. So not only did the border guards hug them, the conscripts that were sent by the MOD moved out of their way. They're fine with them marching on Rostov. We do not fight with children. We do not kill children. Shoigu is killing children by throwing untrained soldiers, conscripts included, into the war. He set up 18-year-old lads against us. They're like children and grandchildren to us. Therefore, these lads will live and return to their mothers. This is a very populist method. Dude, I can see how this, how this takes wind with Russian ultranationalists, man. This, you know what this, this feels, I, I'm not going to say this is Russian January 6th, because this is, in my opinion, probably if any of this is true, it's more serious than January 6th when it comes to like instability being projected from a government. But when I listen to how they talk about it, like it is, it's very much feels almost like the same as it was when I was on the ground of January 6th, where we're not going to fight with the cops. They're great. They're fantastic. They're our boys in blue. 
but once they get a little pushback, you know, are they gonna, you know, are they still the boys in blue over there too? Are they gonna, are they gonna fight in the street? Because eventually someone's gonna stop them. Eventually there's gonna be a unit that's been told you stop them or you're gonna be shot or something along those lines, maybe something less serious. And they're gonna try to stop them. If any of this has a shred of truth, because again, this all reads like a big Trump fanfic. We only fight with professionals, but if someone stands in our path, we will destroy everything in our way. He's not dying down to rhetoric, man. We lend a, heart, a hand to anyone. No need to spit in this hand. We are moving forward, going to the end. Regarding claims regarding the arrest, uh, one second. Regarding claims regarding the arrest, this brotherhood, this justice, this honor, this conscious is what we have. But when you have these claims, you haven't got these feelings. These feelings are destroyed. Thus, you cannot understand anything but betrayal. Wow. Very deep. Very deep. Hello. Oh, hello. Hello. Sorry, there's a dog in here. He's upset. Not a good sign. It's not a good sign when you hear missiles and then the dog comes in whining. Not when you hear missiles, but you hear reports of missiles. Hello, doggo. He, you know, this dog actually, his name's Oscar. He was a police. He was a police dog. Well, he was born from a police. And, but then he was adopted out. He's very good. I've been told he's good stock, but I don't care about that type of shit. Hey dog. Okay. What attention? You hear him? You hear it? Mods needed in gutter chat? Who's let me look in gutter chat. Who needs to be banned? Is it really bad? People saying slurs or stuff? What? Who's gonna come and say oh now he's just sitting next to me? Okay. We wanna see him? Um I don't know. Okay, you know what? Probably we can do that. Maybe I can just There he is. He's decided to come up and, and chill with me, I guess. Let me close the door so I don't wake up everybody else. It's very late here. Really wish you had more mods active? Dude, you're in gutter chat. Go to site chat if you want good mods. Burns is in Team Mop, thank you so much for the tier 1. It's up for 28 months. Man. Good stock means they won't have many health problems. Well, I would told like it's like a good train. Like I know there's like something with like dog genetics where some are easier to train and stuff like others, but I've never cared about that. I like mutts. Site chat accepting refugees. True. If you want to get away from the dumb, uh, dumb tankies, you can go to site chat. You got Kremlin trolls fucking the gutter over. We have, I guess we do. We have zero mods in site chat. Uh, then gutter chat. Okay, well. What? Well, let me see what he's saying. He's posted 128 messages, and he's followed just today. So this guy seems very active. Bigger countries like Russia are justified in controlling small and preventing people from establishing vassal states on their back door. This person's very, very uh, edgy, it seems. I can't pay attention to everything that's going on in side chat. It's just superior. Yeah, just go to side chat. Just go to side chat. That's my piece of advice. Just go to side chat. By the way, I think Hawk earlier said, like, the idea that most Marxists reject the great power politics thing. Absolutely, most Marxists reject the idea that great powers exists, that is how it is, and you just have to deal with it. Most Marxists that I know, if they're, like, Marxists and they're not just liars, would reject the idea that empires exist and you just have to deal with it. And empires will always exist, and bigger nations will always fuck over the smaller nations, because just that's how it is. If you're a Marxist and you believe that, then I don't understand how your foreign policy at all aligns with Marxism. Like, there are Marxists who do believe that, but that mostly just comes from the fact that they got their foreign policy analysis from, like, YouTube videos, and not from, like, Marxist scholars. How do you propose we abolish great powers? We, we all have Reddit debates on the future, in the future when it comes to foreign policy, and whoever gets the most Reddit gold... They uh, win the uh, debate. They get the uh, proper. They get the things in international relations. They win the trade deal. They get the land. You get the idea. Nothing to see here. Confirm metrics show that Google News aggregator platform has been unavailable for many users in Russia. The incident comes amid heightened tensions between the Wagner paramilitary group in Moscow. Huh. 
the Google News aggregator platform. Some weird stuff going on, man. It's all still so, like, we st why isn't there any video? If any of this is actually happening, if, if, if Prigozhin is honestly, like, getting people and marching them towards Rostov, we should have videos. We should have pictures. We should have concrete evidence of this. It's been going on for, like, probably more than five hours now, and more, maybe three or four, if we're being, like, generous here. Like, we, we need something. We need, we need something more than just, like, you know, all, like, rumors and, like, feelings about what, what might be happening. We have more Prigozhin audio? Oh, boy. Tom Clancy looking down from above, stunned that this is actually happening. <laughs> That's true. Prigozhin audio statement. Oh, so this is very recent. This is... When did he release this? This is that's not long ago at all. Stating that Gerasimov gave an order for planes to bomb Wagner columns. It is unclear if these columns exist in reality. That's again, this is the thing. We still have yet to see the columns. Okay, here, here's my thing. I still have yet to see enough evidence because I see some people saying it's a false flag, but people say false flag after everything. If we don't see any pictures of the columns, if we don't see any videos of the columns, and no columns, no evidence of the columns actually surfaces, like satellite photos, anything, then I don't believe the columns are fucking real. It, we should have these pictures by now. I mean, maybe we'll see them in the, in the near future, and then we'll have evidence of the columns, but until we have evidence of the columns, they're just, it's just all rumor. It's just all rumor and claims. Dylan just wants to see big columns? Absolutely. I won't believe that they're actually going to go there and try to capture Rostov or capture something or capture some buildings or arrest people until I see the military columns. Yes, absolutely. Until I see Wagner making the actual moves to do what they're talking about, I won't believe it. I won't believe it. And not seeing those columns, but seeing so much talk about those columns is making me reconsider me just disregarding the idea it was a false flag. Anyway, let's read this. For goes an audio statement. Uh, stating that Grisimov gave an order for planes to bomb moving Wagner columns. It is unclear if these columns exist in reality. Just now, the head of general staff gave the order to raise planes and open fire at columns moving through civilian cars through trucks. He doesn't care whom to kill. They've been killing their own civilians for 1.5 years now instead of fighting with the enemy. I want to say thank you to the pilots who, as it just became known, Refuse to obey criminal orders. This feels like a Donald Trump tweet fest, you know? Just tweeting stuff, tweeting stuff, tweeting stuff, nothing's being done. This is like this is all this is all interesting stuff and an incredible again, another incredible story that the military was gonna bomb all the Wagner columns, basically trying to wipe Wagner out. Incredible story. Where's the evidence? Where's the evidence of the story? You seen any evidence of these columns that everyone's talking about? No. Of course. Okay. So I'm not the only one who hasn't seen the columns. My friend just came in. Um, he just took my phone. He didn't even ask me what he's doing. But I assume he took my phone because missiles are incoming. And uh, he wants to be able to message me or something. I assume. I'm just guessing. He Maybe he just wants to look at all my nudes. That's probably the real reason. Shoigu, your kids are YouTubers. Garisimov, your kid makes YouTube videos. <laughs> Uh, Dylan, someone is saying the Discord that they need a mod, uh, in the Discord that they need a mod on Twitch. Um, fuck, okay. I mean, if there's nobody in there modding, you know what? I see Lonerbox in there. Hey, Lonerbox, do you want a burden you didn't ask for? Too bad. Too bad. Too bad, Lonerbox. Too bad. Not everyone who serves gets a question, gets like to ask if they want to serve or not. Congratulations, you have now been recruited into my private military company. Here's a question. How difficult would it be to start a private military company? How difficult is it? Because I, I know that it was just a, basically awarded, in a way, to, to uh, Prigozhin, right? He was Putin's chef, for God's sake. I wonder how easy, how hard it is. I assume certain countries, the regulations are heavier. Like in America, I'd assume it's much more difficult. Ukraine? I have no clue. Dylan, we will become my, my PMC. It'd be funny to start in PMC. I don't know what my PMC would do. We wouldn't do any fighting. That would, dude, that'd be, that would be funny, man. 
episode of PMC out of a Twitch channel. Hawk0402, you said people want me banned because he's making too much sense. No, man, people want you banned because my audience, audience is mainly Americans. And in the United States, we have terrible, terrible, terrible healthcare options. And most of them don't want to develop brain tumors because they know they probably can't cover the medical expenses that would come with that. So I think that's the main reason they probably want you banned. What's this? Wagner Group Chief Pergozin says Russian helicopter pods refuse to care. Oh yeah, we just read this. We just read it here. Pergozin posts on, uh, v oh, I know this app, but I don't know how to say it. The Russian version of Facebook have now been blocked by order of the government. Oh my God. Burns is They're trying to stop him from getting the message out. Bankrupt man. And the thing is with Telegram, which is way that they're getting the message out there, is those servers are in Russia, man. So if they... Oh my god, did Progozin think about this? What if they just take away his social media stuff? What if they just shut him up? Then what are they going to do? Because that's like one of his main skills is that he's a loudmouth. Derp again, thank you for the prime being sub for nine months, currently on a two-month streak. Appreciate it, appreciate it. By the way, if Hawk wants to get in here and talk about the war, we could do that instead. Actually... We should probably stay on this. I already did one debate tonight. But if he wants to do it next stream, I'd be happy to. If he thinks that he's just making too much sense. Man. Russian officials sounding increasingly worried. The governor of occupied Sevastopol. Like many of you, I'm not sleeping. I'm updating my news fade. Any conflict is bad. A conflict of this level, bad in the extreme. This is not a good sign, man. This is not a good sign. No matter what happens, this makes the Russian government look terrible. Let's say all of this subsides. Let's say that Putin calls Prigozhin and he's like, I will skin you alive if you keep doing this. And he's like, okay, okay. And he backs off. This still made Russia look like it has no central control. It still made Russia look terrible. It, 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 it just highlights the amount of infighting that's going on and shows that the MOD's pushing of, of these new contracts with the private military companies is not going over smoothly, to say the least. Assuming that this isn't all a charade and Prigozhin is really deciding to just roll the dice on making a statement saying, I'm vital to the war effort, give me what I want, I will not accept the MOD contract, I am the Wagner warlord in chief for goes in hail the second czar, right? Not the second czar, but you get the idea that, I, you know, I deserve the resources. I Wagner deserves the money. Wagner deserves prisoner recruitment again. Wagner doesn't need to sign this MOD contract. Give us a waiver, all these things, right? If that's really happening, the Ministry of Defense is going to say whatever is necessary to make them to stop. Literally anything. They, they'll say, like, if Pergozin wins, like, uh, you know, the country will catch on fire and everyone will combust right so them saying this could be them telling the truth like actually we're going to get screwed here or it could literally just be them trying to get those nationalists who might be sympathetic to Prigozhin's message of the mod sucks get rid of the mod fuck the mod and might make them say like look even if you don't like us this might help the ukrainians and as much as you hate me i bet you hate the ukrainians more Dugan is still alive? Oh, dude, I'm so interested in what Dugan has to say. Alexander Dugan is still finding Satanists in today's events. Just as we face the true enemy, the, Satan the Satanic Wests and its demon-possessed henchmen, he sows confusion within ourselves, and so goes from century to century. When will we wise up? So basically what Dugan is saying here is this is all done by the West, that this that Pergozin is is doing... The West spitting. You know how crazy that would be if we found out that the whole time Pergozin was a CIA plant or CIA asset? This cook to Wagner chief? That'd be great. That'd be fantastic. It's not true, but it'd be great. The Russians are mobilizing in Rostov. Armored vehicles. Oh, we already saw this. Yeah, we already talked about this at the start of stream. Yeah, there are armored vehicles on the streets of Rostov. Yes, yes. Animation assault. I'm going to be honest. Stop making videos on your second channel. It's bad for your main channel. If you continue like this, you'll never get 100k followers in your main channel. Yeah, well, if I stop my second channel, I can't feed myself. So, yeah, I think I won't do that. <laughs> I don't think I'll do that. I can have two YouTube channels. Like, my... I don't know what that logic is. What's this? Rostov Highway.
I'm looking for symbols. I see the Z's. I have no... These don't look like Wagner guys. They don't look like Wagner guys to me. That looks like MOD guys. Make the videos on your main channel? No, that's not how that works. Dude, you don't know. I, I like. I'm gonna be very. I'm gonna be kind to you here, but I don't think you know how YouTube works. If I'm posting, like in depth mini docs and interviews with people out in the field, next to reactions of like Twitch streamers saying dumb shit, like it's just you know the seriousness is not gonna be emphasized. It's it's you want to have the same content generally going out on the same channel. You don't want to like just like. Go from this to that, this to that. Anyway, why am I talking about this? Let's concentrate on the coup. <laughs> Wagner stopped for for going over the speed limit. True. Maybe a cop stopped Wagner and said, "Hello, sir." Burns is license and registration. Moral, morally corrupt. Charlie's a level man. tip. Thank you so much for the primer. I appreciate that. Mod closed the roads in the Rostov. Yeah, that's to be expected. Now the question is, are they going to run the blockades? But again, still don't have evidence that they're doing anything. Let's see, what, what is, uh... <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Uh, wouldn't that be beautiful? Wouldn't that be beautiful? The FSB has filed charges against Prigozhin for indicting rebellion. It's actually happening. Holy shit. Hoping and praying Russian officials keep their head off of any big red buttons while this plays out. What if the Russians nuke themselves? That'd be, that'd be pretty crazy. That's not gonna happen. You can always think about it. Shadow is not okay. Thank you for the hundred, no, 300 biddies. Gutter chat. Let me go look at site chat. I'm looking at gutter chat too much. You guys are wild. You guys are wild and over in gutter chat. Let me look over at site chat. How are you doing site chat? Best chat. Number one chat. Number one chat. Everybody crawls over to this channel. Anytime anything happens in the war over here, huh? You guys left your, your video game Twitch channels and your Vosh and Destiny reactions, huh? Came crawling back. Came crawling back to the geopolitical analysis. Anyway, where were we? Dylan, you're pronouncing Pregozin wrong? Okay, I'm sorry. Little bitch, okay? Little cunt. I, no, fucking Anna told me this earlier today. He's like, Dylan, you pronounced Pregozin wrong. I don't care. Pregozin. What am I supposed to, I'm just to say with an Italian flair? What do you want me, what do you want from me? Pregozin. Pregozin. Prigo, I can't, who cares? People know who I'm talking about. That's all that matters. I'd usually do my best to learn the name, but it's also a real piece of shit. Could this be something? Well, anything can be something. Let me go check it out. Let me go let me go see what this something you just linked me is. Prigozhin. Prigozhin. Yes. Prigozhin. Cunt. Yes, that works. Tell me over and over again. Oh, what is this? Why the fuck is this in Spanish? Burns is an immoral, immoral morally, morally corrupt, corrupt bankrupt man. man. Mango Mosh, thank you for the primers. Also, for, since everybody's watching right now, I'd also appreciate it if at some point you went to my main channel on YouTube, Dylan Birds TV, I released two interviews with a right sector fighter talking to him about Ukraine's ultra-nationalist ideology and talking about fighting in Bakhmut because he did some first-hand fighting in Bakhmut. I'm going to have some more content releasing there, including footage of documentation of war crimes in Kherson of bombing evacuation workers. I'm going to be releasing that article with offbeat research in the near future. So if you guys could keep your eye out for that, I'd appreciate it too. Anyway, where were we? What is this? The subscriber filmed in Rostov region at the entrance of Rostov. He says it's a column of Wagner. That is a military column, but I, I don't see anything that says it's Wagner. That could be anyone. Not to mention, I don't know if the account Renato Layden of Soy Agulela 007 of four follower fame is exactly the most valid source. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna take I'm gonna take somebody named Soy as a source. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm good. It looks legit. It, it okay. The reason it looks legit is because you want it to be legit. 
and you see vehicles passing by through a very blurry windshield. You see none of the markings on them, right? Like if I saw like Wagner logos on the side or some shit or some like divisional thing that you could indicate and be like, oh, that's with this division who is under Wagner or, you know, we see some figure in front of military vehicles on the road. Like maybe, maybe we can say something, but this is nothing. Like this is, this is nothing. It could be something, but there's nothing that we can confirm. Shit. Give me a second. I'll be right back. I think we're being bombed. Okay. I'll be right back. I'll be back in like five minutes, probably. Who knows? Um, I'll just play that song again. Where were we? Where, where was that song? Eve of destruction. Do do do. Yeah, we were bombed. Um, at least our area was bombed. It it shook the it shook the house. Uh, and then I heard like what sounded like a rocket engine, which probably means if it's a rocket engine, it means one of two things. It means it's either a jet or it's like a missile or like a rocket, like getting lobbed in our way. Probably a rocket, not a jet. Maybe it's a jet intercepting something, but it was probably a rocket. Tell me over and over again, my friend, that you don't believe we're on the eve of destruction. Boop. It's a great song, isn't it? When did we find out Pergozin took some gallons of vodka and this entire coup is just him tripping balls? Yo, what would happen if we gave Pergozin like LSD? That'd be something, wouldn't it? Son in love, please stay safe as you can. Well, the thing is, right, like, you know, there's news to cover, so I should probably do my job, right? I was not gonna house myself. Look, like, it's better to distract yourself during these types of things, you know? I mean, I could, like, end stream and, like, hunker down somewhere, but it's like... It's better to distract myself to not just be, like, just curled up in a ball somewhere. Like, oh my god, I might die. It's like, it's better to just, you know, work through it, right? Burns is Anonymous Gifter, thank you for gifting a tier once up to Hype Train, I appreciate it. Man. If it blows, it blows. Amen, brother. Amen, brother. It is what it is what it is. Yee yee, man. Yee yee. But the Russians are panicking. They look really weak right now, I think. And so they want to probably lob some rockets at us, maybe kill a few civilians. So, you know, like reestablish that we are in control, right? We are in, we are in power. We are so cool. Don't worry about the fucking private military company marching on Rostov because we could still kill children in a children's hospital. We are the Russian army. But yeah, no, everybody in the building, everybody here was, um, was woken up because I went out there, the, the whole family that, that, you know, I'm with here, everybody's woken up. Yeah. Woof, man. That was, it shook the building. The last time it didn't shake the building. I don't know. I wonder what that means about the, like, the, how close the impact was. Because last time the rocket, like, flew over close over the building, but this time it sounded much more distant. So I, I don't know. Maybe it was shot down near? Who knows? I, I, and it's probably better that I don't, like, find out exactly and say it on stream for, like, obvious security reasons. Dylan went from panicking at the sounds of jets to screaming, do it, do it, bitch. It's not like, do it, bitch. It's just like, like, I got shelled in here son like a week ago, right? By the Russian army. I heard the whistles as it was coming in. And I'm not trying to say it's like, oh, who cares? But it's like, you get, you know, you get accustomed to these things. You get used to it. Human beings, we're like fucking cockroaches. You get used to your surroundings. You do what you need to do to survive, right? You just, you just, you, you get used to it. Plus, this time was not nearly, I didn't hear the rocket as close as last time. So in comparison, like, you know, it feels like a step down. Michael Weiss uh, reporting that Priggy is, <laughs> we need to call him Priggy. Oh my gosh, why haven't I been calling him Priggy? Priggy is being scrubbed from the Russian internet. Ah, uh, dog, that makes sense. Because the thing is, I don't know how tight Russia, uh, uh, Wagner's communication structure is, but there are people who are certainly sympathetic to what Prokosin has to say. I don't think he's necessarily that popular, like super duper popular, right? Um, so why is this... Why am I getting like unpin after? I don't think he's necessarily that popular, but he certainly has supporters. Now, I wonder how well his communication infrastructure is if he gets wiped from the internet and can't use like Telegram and stuff. He, they must have like, like, like phone channels and other stuff they can communicate towards. So he most certainly can still communicate with Wagner unless they're literally completely incompetent. They must have, they must have their own communication networks. But 
it's going to be much more difficult for him to communicate with the public crowd. Does he still have his Telegram? Because his Telegram is going to be his biggest thing. If he loses his, like, Russian Facebook and he loses his other stuff, it's like, whatever. But if he loses his Telegram, that's, that's his biggest, I think. Let's see what he's saying. Ukraine and MOD clearly enjoying a possible coup attempt to unfold in Russia. We are watching. Is that all they said? Is that what the Russian Ministry of Defense did? Just, just we are watching? We are watching. Wow. I'm watching too. I'm watching too. Join this space on Twitter talking about the coup. Which, which space? I don't want to join a Twitter space. It's Mario Newfall. I don't care. I don't care enough to look at that. Hi, I'm Russian, 19. I want to know, do you support Ukraine? Y yes, I, yes, I do. I'm currently in Ukraine, actually. I do support Ukraine. Because I'm an evil Westerner. That's my main reason. Priggy is hella popular among neo-Nazis and Russian nationalists. Yeah, he is. He's very popular. Uh, RWA going full cope. Ru oh, Russia, Russia, Russians with attitude. Show my tattoo. Which tattoo? This tattoo? My stalker tattoo? I don't think my stalker tattoo. Oh, you mean the other tattoo? No, I'm not showing that tattoo. No, I'm not showing that tattoo. No, no, no. Last time I showed that tattoo, people told me it was a Nazi tattoo. And it's not a Nazi tattoo. But every time I show the tattoo, somebody screen caps it, try to pretend it's a Nazi tattoo. It's just a Ukrainian tried it. It's a psyop to cover. Oh, yeah, I saw these options earlier. This is what Russians with Attitude, which is like a Russian nationalist podcast, say are the options that come with this. Right? Wait, now that I said it's like a Nazi tattoo, and that, no, I, and it's not like a Nazi. God damn it. Well, not. I have to show it, or people will think I'm like a. People will think I'm like, and you know what? No, it's a, it's a Ukrainian trident. You get the idea. Why do you put a trident symbol on you, OMG? Because it's a cool symbol. It doesn't, it doesn't like a cool symbol. The Ukrainian trident with a skull. Yeah, it has a, it has a skull on it. And the skull has a Z on it. If you don't, that's the message. It's, yeah, it's just edgy. That's, that's the worst it is. It's cringe. It's cr like a, a, the trident is a cringe symbol. You know what, what many historians say that the trident is actually based off of a bird diving for fish. I think that's cool. I think it's a cool symbol. You have the trident because you believe you're king of the sea. I know Dylan Aquaman burns. Yes, that's exactly it. Dylan Burns, Aquaman. A falcon, imperial symbol, yeah. What the ruble doing? Pretty cringe tattoo, yes, but not a Nazi one. Yeah, just, but the problem is that anything that is Ukrainian is going to be painted as Nazi. And that's what the Russian government wants. And it is what the Russian government has done. In fact, I mean, I think like a, it was like RIA, -R -R -A, a Russian state news outlet, published an article. And we actually covered it yesterday on the channel. It should be published on my second channel, Dylan Burns Live, soon, if any of you want to see what I'm talking about. They published an article like clearly stating that if you are like Ukrainianness is Naziness. In fact, it even made the argument that Ukrainian identity Burns is a, is, is worse world, than regular Nazism and it's worse man. than Hitler because it's inherently anti-Russian. Um, it'll be a nice reminder in a few years at least. Yeah, that's basically what I wanted. Frank the Shanks, thank you so much for the primer beats up for three months. Really been enjoying the stuff you've been putting out. Keep it up, bro. Thank you. I appreciate it. Zelensky tonight? What? Oh, but no. It's a psyop to cover up the Russian offensive. This is just, this is just cope. The idea that the Russians would purposely be like, Hey, everyone, we're incompetent and unorganized and coups to cover up a Russian offensive. That doesn't even make any sense. Just do the Russian offensive. Doesn't make much sense. Option two. We're going to World War Three with NATO. Again, like, what is this? What? Why would Prigozhin marching on Rostov, you know, internal strife, not even caused by us, mean, mean that they go to war with NATO? This is, again, just cope. Number three, it's real, and Putin is using Prigozhin to get rid of Shoigu. That, I mean, I would say that's unlikely, considering they're scrubbing him from the internet currently. Um, so I would say that's an unlikely option. Uh, it's real, and Wagner has actually begun a coup d'etat. Technically, even though this is unlikely, this is a real possibility, which is hilarious. For option five, it's behind the curtain negotiations get nipped in the bud before it escalates. I don't think I would call it behind the curtain negotiations of deploying the military and trying to put up roadblocks. It's no longer behind the curtain if everybody can see it in public and you've got like occupation politicians like worried, like like doom posting, like, oh God, what does this mean for Mother Russia? Like that's not behind the curtain, that's in front of the curtain. 
that is the exact opposite of behind the curtain. The only option here that I think is vaguely possible is number before. And it's also the scariest, this is also the scariest outcome for the Russians. Oh my goodness. What, sorry, just quickly. What if it's... This is true. I've been getting a lot of DMs from Ukrainians all night saying, have you seen, have you seen? I'm like, yes, I've seen. Like, it's awesome. Yes. They're so excited for it, man. They're so excited. One of the main factors, um, one second, let me go back to site chat. I... Rogozin released uh, a new voice memo. In it, he rejects the idea that his Wagner Group actions are preventing the Russian army from fighting in Ukraine. Uh, we're preventing criminals who cl killed close to 100,000 Russian soldiers. Yeah, I mean, that seems to be within the narrative that they keep putting out. Yep, yep, yep. That's to be expected. What's this? Oh, I don't like Austin Technical, but we'll see. Um, footage. Cr oh, here it is. Yeah, this is the same footage we looked at earlier. They're saying that this is the Wagner vehicles, but couldn't he have just put it out, out, out as like out the window to give us a better look? Like, I mean, again, this is possible, but like we have no way of telling if this is true or not. Oh my God. If there's anything I don't want to be in, it's this fucking Twitter space. Ian Miles Strong and Michael Trace. There's only so much I can deal with. Fuck that shit. Better footage? Thank you. Oh, but this person's even worse. And we already looked at this. Again, we don't know if this is Wagner. I can't see anything that would tell me it's Wagner. I don't see any flags, any symbols. Like, this could just be MOD people. Like, we have no clue. We have no clue. There's movement. We know that. There's people deployed. There's vehicles on the beat. Why don't you like Austin Technical? I think I might, maybe I got him confused with somebody else. But I don't like that War Monitor guy. Actually, recently, War Monitor came out with a post saying now he supports Ukraine. Did you guys see that? He used to be pretty pro-Russia. Now he's changed his mind, and it really pissed off a lot of his followers. Get in there and call them ableist slurs. <laughs> I'm not going to go in the Twitter space and start calling them the R slur. I'm not going to do that, okay? I'm not going to do that. Do you know how much it would suck if I got bombed and killed in a Twitter space and one of the last people I was talking to was fucking Ian Miles Chong? Yeah, no, I'm good. I'm good. Again, it's not really a po real possibility. It's not a big possibility. I guess it is technically a real possibility, but it's a big possibility, but I don't even want to test it. God would punish me for talking to him. More cars? Let's see. Putin really projecting strength, isn't he? Okay, see, this gives me a better look. Let's see what these vehicles are. Ah, dude. This doesn't look like Wagner, man. I mean, it could be Wagner, but it doesn't look like Wagner. It doesn't look like Wagner to me. We still, we still, I feel like if this was all really happening, right? I feel like if this was all really going on, right? Wagner would be posting video of like our brave soldiers marching against the corrupt Russian military establishment or whatever. Who would be the last person, uh, who would be a worse last person to talk to? Miles Chong or Yankee Tanky? Miles Chong, because I feel like, you know, he has a bigger reach. Yankee Tanky is at least kind of funny. Miles Strong is not even funny. He's just stupid. He's just stupid and he doesn't know what he's talking about. Those are cops of Rosgardia cars. Yeah, I thought so. It didn't look like Wagner. Well, I didn't, I didn't know it, looked, it was those specific cars, but it didn't look like Wagner to me. Military police. So it's, yeah, okay. Got you. John DeMarie. Yeah, no, I, I still don't see any Wagner cars. <laughs> With all this footage, you would think we would have something, something, anything of Wagner cars moving around. Why don't we, we still don't have any Wagner cars. We have nothing. Exit from Rostov. Okay, that looks like a blockade in the distance. Yes. That looks like a hastily erected blockade. Man, still no Wagner videos. I feel like we should have something. Something from Wagner. Anything? What's this? A Telegram channel affiliated with Progoza has posted his update. 
vows to stay the course. He claims all Wagner units crossed into Russia. And all Wagner units? All Wagner units. That's like 25,000 to like 40,000 people. Like that's a lot of... I mean, I don't know exactly what it is right now. Definitely after the fighting in Bakhmut, but that's a lot of people. It's crazy that there's all these tens of thousands of people marching around. We still don't have a single fucking picture of it. It's like Wagner is so bold and so loud and online and is making all these statements. But then when it comes to actually finding Wagner, it's like the Loch Ness Monster. All we can find is like blur blurry Burns photographs from like half immoral, a mile away. Morally corrupt, bankrupt man. <laughs> An anonymous gifter gifts tier one sub to Wagner Tripping. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. How long do you think Wagner will last against the Russian army? I don't, I still, honestly, I still don't think anything's happening. Oh, no, things are happening, but I don't think the, I don't think Wagner is actually going to do this. I mean, like, like, I, I feel like this is going to have to be settled somewhere else. I just, I, it would be too destructive to Russia and almost like too suicidal for a lot of the parties involved to engage in this. Like, it just doesn't make any, I just, I don't believe it until I see more video or footage. And it's not just like talking about columns until I see columns of Wagner, not military police, not MOD people, not the regular armed forces, but Wagner until I see that, I don't believe it. And until I see it, I don't believe it. I'm not going to be one of the, look, as much as I want it to be true, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to reserve. New audio? Oh, boy. A curd is a curd. Confirmed to be National Guard trucks? Samizrad has donated $5. Why would Prigozhin lie about the columns, though? I like, don't what benefit know. does he get from lying I here? I don't also, know. do you still have the mezuzah on you? PLZ, stay safe. I do have the mezuzah on me. Uh, it's actually downstairs, though. So, I'm not safe here upstairs. But, um, yeah, these are National Guard. Okay, so dope. So, we still, we, okay. So, again and again and again, we're not finding Wagner. Again and again and again, we're not finding Wagner. They've crossed the border. All Wagner forces are moving. But we still haven't found them. It, it's just so hard to buy this nonsense, dog. I don't want to be that dumb schmuck that buys this shit. Until I see evidence, I'm not going to believe it. It's just, I don't want this to be a ghost of Kiev situation. You know what I mean? You get what I'm saying? A Kurd is a Kurd. It's true, though. That's, that is my take. It's true that we haven't seen conclusive evidence that Wagner is marching. But what would be the other option for the blockades and military vehicles in Russia? It could be that Wagner has yet to march and they're scared that they will march. It could be that they don't really know what Wagner is doing and they're not communicating. And so they're just reacting as if they are on the march. And it could be they're on the march um, or something else that we haven't even considered because we don't know what's happening in these backroom conversations. The street cams at Rostov are going offline. Dude, that's not good. That's not good at all. I mean, for the Russians, but. This is weird. Oh, that's wild. Uh-oh. <laughs> Stinky. Something stinks, stinks, stinks. You know, if this all ends and somehow, like, like, they, like, Wagner says they march, but there's never a single picture of them, I won't ever believe it. I won't ever believe it unless there's pictures and videos. I won't. Oh, coup doesn't work unless it's a blitzkrieg? Well, I mean, unless Prigozhin has other allies that we don't know of. But as far as I know, he doesn't. Like, Prigozhin has been, like, he doesn't have a ton of allies. He can't get, like, the intel community on his side. He can't get the MOD on his side. He's fighting with the MOD. As far as I know, it's, he's not pals with the National Guard. So, I, so I mean, it feels like it's, you know, it's Prigozhin and a lot of ultra, and some ultra-nationalists. That's the only coalition I could think of. Feels like, if anything, if Prigozhin was to pull the trigger on this, he would be betting on two things. One that the establishment would make him an offer that he can't refuse. Like an offer that's like really, really good. Like maybe he gets to go no MOD contract, whatever. Or he believes that he can legitimately just unseat the Russian MOD on his own. And the government, once it's all said and done, will be like, well, it is what it is. 
Like, we don't want to get rid of the MOD and Pergozin at the same time. Too chaotic. Burns we is accept an immoral, this. morally corrupt. But this is man. all speculation. Blue C gifted a tier one sub. The Xanamani. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. This is a publicity stunt to discredit Pergozin. They can't kill him outright and turn him into a martyr. This is a publicity stunt to discredit Pergozin. But then why is Pergozin participating in it? Unless he's been given orders to participate in it. And this is all going to end with Pergozin sinking. And they put somebody else at the head of Wagner after signing the MOD contract. But then how did they get Wa Pergozin to agree to this? I mean, maybe if Putin put him at like gunpoint and made him agree to it. That would be the only thing I could think of. Anna, Anna Sasia update about the missile strikes. Yeah, they're striking stuff right now. They don't want to look too weak, I guess. So they got to kill some civvies. So three strikes with S-300 missiles. One hit the gas pipe. Our firemen are fighting the fires now. There are also strikes into Dnipro and Kiev. Here's a video of the damage in Kiev. Yep. Big surprise. Big surprise. They look weak, so they got to go kill a bunch of Ukrainian civvies. Just lob S-300 missiles. And remember, S-300s, they're not accurate missiles. These are not missiles made to do these types of strikes. These are missiles made to intercept aircraft and, like, long-range missiles and missiles headed towards the Russians. And they're turning them into rockets to lob at the Ukrainians because they have a ton of them, but they're terribly inaccurate. They're, they're, it's literally just, we need to fill the airspace with as many missiles as possible. We don't care how accurate they are. We don't care how many people to kill. We just want to whittle down air defenses. It's, ex it's an extremely immoral use of the weapon. Do you not think the MOD has backed Wagner into a corner? I do think that this is the only reason I'm even considering this as a possibility. is because Wagner has been backed into, into a corner over the last few months. Burns especially immoral, over the new MOD corrupt, contract they've been trying to negotiate. Man. Especially over that. But that's not the first thing. Wagner getting cut off of their prisoner recruitment was also something that really pissed them off. Um, Pronger98, thank you for the primer. Thank you for all the content and well-needed reporting. You are doing the Lord's work. Salute. Thank you so much for the prime. I appreciate it. Wait, if their interceptors aren't they hella expensive, they have a lot of them. They have a lot of them. They're not going to run out of them. And that's the main thing. What's this? Beautiful. This is a beautiful edit. All hail King Pergozin. All hail Supreme Commander Pergozin. Pergozin's audio message. At 122 BST, the head of the general staff is not calming down. The mistake of any African dictator is to deal airstrikes at civilian areas. Right now in the air are two places numbered 526 that are trying now to deal these strikes. Remember, lads, the motherland will not forgive you for the strikes at your own territory. You should have the courage to strike the enemy territory when our infantry is moving. Thus, these speculations saying that we are interfering with someone fighting on the front are speculations. We do not interfere with anyone. We interfere with criminals saving their asses who destroyed around 100,000 Russian soldiers. Wow. He is saying the 100K Russian death toll is real, too. And this is a pretty embarrassing, like, outburst. I gotta be honest, for the Russians. This is something they deny. I think the current Russian, what was the, what's the current Russian death toll? The official government like recognized death toll. As far as I'm aware, they haven't renewed it since last year. It certainly isn't a hundred thousand. Those trucks aren't wagged to the National Guard yet. Wow. Gorisimov and Shoigu. We certainly pointing the finger at two people. These are the two people who keeps pointing it out. Gorisimov, a high ranking Russian general and Shoigu, uh, the Russian minister of defense. Those seem to be the two main targets. Prigi ran out of copium. Maybe, man. Maybe. I wonder what kind of drugs it takes. I refuse to believe Fergozin doesn't take drugs. The updates are hard to keep up with. There's a lot of updates, man. I kind of feel like just scrolling on Twitter and seeing if, if I stumble on anything new. Oh, my goodness. What's that one thing the Kremlin... I posted on Twitter the video of it. What was the... Uh, I think... What Wasn't it during the 90s, during the coups that were going on, the government just kept playing Swan Lake over and over? I wonder if they're going to resort to that. I wonder if they're going to start doing that. Now Prokosid says that they took down a heli. <laughs> well, do they have any evidence of it? Do they have any pictures of it? Okay, I'm sorry. Air raid's over. Air raid is over. I'm not dead. That's pretty cool.
Whether Ragnar has a coalition, uh, Goresha Meshenko <laughs> claims low-level MOD officers are openly supporting Wagner. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Nah, nah, dude. That's too wild. That's, no, if that... No, 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 no. Mm, nah. Mm, nah. I just don't believe, I refuse to believe it. I, in fact, refuse to believe it. Shoigu and Garisimov's YouTuber children must be bickering right now. <laughs> Clashes in Rostov. Of course, Elon's like, Elon's throttling it. It's from Clash Report. Clash Report is not a super reliable outlet. I mean, these are just like, okay, fuck. I mean, that looked, a lot of that looked like anti-air. What would they be firing at? I guess that could... FSB troops did apparently refuse orders. No way. You gotta, dude, you guys, we have to have evidence of this, though. What's this? From Anton uh, Groshenko. From their source, the attempts to act against Prigozhin come solely from the FSB and Russian guards. The Ministry of Defense has withdrawn itself. Lower rank officers either simply refuse to follow orders or openly support Wagner. I mean, Wagner does, I mean, if this was true, this would be massive, number one. Um, this would greatly uh, make me rethink how much influence Prigozhin actually has. And lastly, um, this could, that would, could legitimately mean the end for Shoigu. As for Shoigu and company, they simply hid, and, their entire, and they have entirely lost their touch with reality. Apparently, the scare is serious. This is from a Ukrainian source, though. I want you to mind this is from a Ukrainian source. Ukrainian government source as well. And if there's anything the Ukrainian government wants, is for this to be true. Just throwing that out there. I'm trying to keep you guys moderated. As much as I would love for all of this to be true, dude, if Progozin actually cooed the MOD... I mean, this would be the type of thing that would reinvigorate the Western alliance. And I know that's a weird thing to hear, but imagine being Biden and being told that while Russia's invading another country, their, their military's fighting each other, and there was just like a mini coup in the country. That would just make you think that the pressure that the Biden administration and the Western allies have applied to Russia is working. That's, that's, that is the lesson they're going to take from this. Choigu's hiding place? I have seen this. <laughs> This is a great meme. I tweeted this out, actually, with today's stream. And this is a good meme. Telegram channels report that FSB and Interior Ministry border troops had orders to stop Wagner, but could not because, of, because orders were unrealistic. Unrealistic? Burns what is that? Is that means they li like literally corrupt, can't stop them. Man. That's what that would mean. Mid Lebowski, thank you for the Tier 1 being gifted to fly on a wall. I appreciate it. About the dark footage. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just like a bunch of bullets and bombs going off. I, I, okay, what's here? Well, maybe the first actual detail that a Wagner convoy may exist. This vehicle was made for Wagner. Unclear if it is a new video, its location. Wait, this vehicle. Oh, this guy's legit. This guy's legit. He works with Bellingcat, and he actually was one of the people who helped uh, uh, expose the Jack, Tex Jack Textara guy, the leaker. Oh, this is a... Eric Tuller's legit, man. We were looking at this video earlier. Could that be that vehicle? It could be. But it, oh, I don't know, man. It's right at the start of the video. Let's see if we can see the pusher. Oh, you can't. It's too, the window's too blurry. Oh, man, it's all like fucking Loch Ness Monster Bigfoot videos, man. Everything's blurry. You can't see shit. If this is a Wagner column, and we do have evidence, but even though that that makes me at least consider this more seriously. If this, if we do find evidence of a Wagner column, then this is no longer talking hypotheticals. We could be talking about a real situation here. That this isn't just words, this is actual actions. And from how Russian military telegram is freaking out right now, and I'm checking my phone, and I'm getting updates of things popping up, people are freaking the fuck out in Russian military telegram. People are doomering. The Wagner people are bloodthirsty. They're like, let's get them. Let's get these traitors. Some of them call them traitors, going like way off. 
the the Russian like people who are generally pro-war though they, a lot of them seem very uneased about the situation they don't like the lack of unity they don't like the infighting this could cause some of them are talking about how this could help the Ukrainians Wagner guys are countering it saying look they're going to not where the fighting is they're going to where the decision making centers are so they're trying to argue with them basically saying look this isn't going to undermine a war effort because we're going to where all the bad decisions are being made and we're going to correct it Rostov's governor on Telegram just said, law enforcement is doing everything to keep peace and security. Please stay in your homes. Please stay calm and don't leave your homes when not, with, when not necessary. Firefight near Rostov not confirmed. Is this the same video that we just watched? Yes, it is. It is the same video that we just watched. I just, I, again, man, and I hate to do this, but it's still unclear. This is, we don't, it's unconfirmed. It's just footage of like shoots, shooting and bullets and maybe some anti-air fire going off in a random place. Could be Rostov, could be a totally separate location. I've been reporting on this long enough to tell you that a million times people will say, oh, look at this brand new footage and it'll be shit from Syria. It'll be shit from like a year ago. It'll be stuff from like 2014, 2015, right? So you got to give the, yeah, people, somebody trash mail and gutter chat just put it best. You got to give the geolocation guy some time. Heli's over Rostov. Let's see. Well, first, let's look at this footage again. I haven't seen this footage before. A lot of the fake stuff that gets regurgitated, I've seen before. I haven't seen this stuff before. And it doesn't look like Syria. It doesn't look like Iraq. But we don't see anything. Ah, oh, God, I wish I could just see more. Helicopters reported flying very low over Rostov. Gherkin notes Prigozhin likely panicked by MOD and Putin on contracts. This is actually the... I agree with Gherkin. This is literally... If this is happening, it's this, in my opinion. It's the contract negotiations. He does not want to give over Wagner to the Russian Ministry of Defense. He knows if he signs that contract and it's stamped and it's gone... Like, he's basically going to be, like, maybe, if lucky, managing Wagner in Africa and maybe Syria. That he's going to lose a lot of that influence. And so he might, this might just be a big role, man. This might be one of Prigozhin's biggest gambles. Uh, Gherkin notes Prigozhin likely panicked by MOD and Putin on contracts. And Katarov winning Belgorod role claims, oh, yeah, that's true. That's true. Uh, Katarov was sent to Belgorod. I don't know how much that... Uh, Belgorov's Chechens are the ones in stationed in Belgorod right now to try to stop incursions by uh, Ukrainian-backed Russian uh, uh, anti-Putin fighters. Uh, that's at least the role he's been placed to it. If they're doing well or not, I don't know. I've heard some rumors that they're unable to stop all the incursions, but they're trying vaguely to stop like them from occupying large swaths of territory. But that is a role they got. I don't know if that's something that's really angered Prigozhin, though. Claims he predicted this move from Autumn. Says no video because Prigozhin only, only has part Wagner backing. What does that even mean? Prigozhin only has part Wagner. That would mean... If he doesn't even have all of Wagner's support, then how does he have possible support for people outside of Wagner? It's going to be very hard to do something like this unless it's literally going to be doing it off of a bluff in order to do this without all of Wagner United. Dylan road closures unverified. I think the road closure stuff is pretty verified at this point. Um, road, oh boy. This is just like the Google Maps app saying it's road close, reported road closures. Yeah, no, I would believe that. What are they gonna do if they actually just meet? Are they gonna face that? Like, are those soldiers really willing to stop the Wagner guys? And are the Wagner guys really willing to fire if stopped? They said they'll destroy everything in their path. At least that's what Bergozin said. Austin Tentacle reposted the same video from before. This video, I'm sorry, man. I just, I don't see anything. I see something. Man, I wish we had better video, man. Additional footage of low fine helicopter. Okay, this is the same thing, but it's... God, man. I wish we had clearer footage. We might not get a lot of footage till tomorrow because a lot of people will film and then just put their phone back in their pocket. War takes. I like war takes. Lowell Lamal. Statement from Bergozin has been blocked on the Russian social media platform. Oh yeah, we already talked about this about an hour ago, but 
this is really crippling to Pergozin. If he can't speak to his people, it's kind of hard for him to do anything. I mean, like his supporters in the Russian society. If he's going to get support amongst Russians, he needs to be able to communicate with them. Google News blocked in Russia as feud with mercenary leader intensifies. At least five telecommunication companies have blocked the service, which aggregates news from various sources according to an analysis from NetBlocks and Internet Observatory. Several Russian internet service providers are preventing users inside the country from accessing Google News after Russian generals accused a mercenary leader, Yeni Prigozhin, of attempting a coup. At least five tele uh, telecommunication companies, including Retelcom, Ulan, and Templus, have blocked Google News, which aggregates news from various sources according to an analysis from NetBlock, Internet Observatory. Several other internet service providers have begun reducing access as well, according to the analysis. This shit is getting out of control. Google didn't immediately respond to a request for comment. Late Friday, Russian officials accused Mr. Prigozhin, the leader of the Wagner Group, a mercenary organization, of trying to mount a coup against President Vladimir Putin. And Russian authorities operating an investigation into Mr. Prigozhin for organization of an armed rebellion. Russia's internet regulator, Roskomnadzor, Ra said in March of 2020, March 2022, that it would block Google News from the country's internet users after the company paused advertising in Russia and took steps to block online content and spread false information to support Russia's invasion of Ukraine. This is part of a larger tech apparatus that Mr. Putin has built over the years to exert control through technology channels. Apart from tightly supervised Russia's Russian internet, authorities also use a domestic spying system. It intercepts phone calls and internet traffic, spreads online disinformation campaigns, and hack other nations' government. Ooh, man, this shit's getting out of control. Video of Hilly shooting at Wagner. Well, this is the same video we've watched like five times now. Man, this is some pretty crazy shit, man. According to some pro-Russian sources, he failed to muster all of Wagner, and many of Wagner troops are still in their barracks, wondering what the fuck is happening. Not good for Pergozin, if true. There's also a big theory going around that critical that something critical went down today. He had to be arrested or something, and he was, in a sense, forced to go for broke. Burns is in. I wonder what percentage of Wagner went with man. him if this is all legit, and what percentage of Wagner didn't go with him. I wonder. Who are we rooting rooting for? Okay, so this is the best way to do think about it. In my mind, I'm rooting for Pregozin. I want him to go as far as possible, and the reason why is that he doesn't have a lot of support in Russian society broadly. Like, he doesn't have, like, the same base of support as a lot of other people do. Um, it would cause a lot of chaos the further this goes on, and uh, the, the, the less competent the Russian government looks, the better. And so the worse this goes and the more the Russian government has to cede to Prigozhin, the better this looks. So I'm rooting for Prigozhin. It's critical support for Prigozhin, man. We root for the fight. No, 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 no. I root for Pergozin because I think that the better, the further Pergozin goes, the, the better it is. It's like, um, you know, let's say that there was, uh, man, I don't know what's a good comparison here, but you get, you get my general premise. Because it is pro Ukraine. I wish. Is this footage from above? What's this? Let me look off screen. I don't want you guys to be pornography. We've already seen this, but. That is something. Ебать, это что нахуй было? Ёбаная тетя, откуда оттуда уебали откуда-то? Okay, can I just quickly say, uh, what the fuck is that? It, it is a video of Bigfoot. Yeah, it's another video of Bigfoot, kind of, yes. But that seems like a, a, a Russian helicopter shooting a rocket. You guys missed it? We can look, we'll look at it again. Нахуй было, ёбаная тетя. That's what it looks like. It looks like a Russian helicopter from above shooting a rocket. 